Hello and welcome to WePC Benchmarks. My name is Seb and today I'm taking a look at the all new RX 6600. The new card has just been revealed by AMD and thanks to them for providing us with this card early for us to be able to benchmark it. This is a 6th GPU from the 6000 series and it's the least powerful of them, but hopefully fairly affordable with no mention of the supply of them. We'll find that one out when the card comes out and see if anyone can actually buy one. But for now, let's see how it performs. We start off with CSGO, and at high settings and starting at 1080p, it averages 284 FPS with a 1% 1 of 130 and a 0.1% of 28. Then at 1440p, it averages 274 FPS with a 1% 1 of 144 and a 0.1% of 48. And then at 4K, it averages 160 FPS with a 1% 1 of 51 and a 0.1% of 15. The next game is Dirt 5, and on ultra high with ray tracing off, at 1080p it is averaging 93 FPS with a 1% of 82 and a 0.1% of 76. Then at 1440p it is averaging 71 FPS with a 1% of 64 and a 0.1% of 60. And then at 4K it averages 44 FPS with a 1% of 48 and a 0.1% of 37. Turning on ray tracing, and now at 1080p the game is averaging 76 FPS with a 1% of 67 and a 0.1% of 58. And at 1440p it is averaging 58 FPS with a 1% of 51 and a 0.1% of 46. And at 4K it is averaging 34 FPS with 1% of 29 and a 0.1% of 28. Moving on to Doom Eternal next, and on Ultra Nightmare, at 1080p the card is averaging 131 FPS, with a 1% of 90 and a 0.1% of 29. And at 1440p, it is averaging 93 FPS, with a 1% of 72 and a 0.1% of 28. And at 4K, the game is averaging 50 FPS, with a 1% of 38 and a 0.1% of 17. We move on to Evil Genius 2, and an Ultra with FSR off, the game is averaging 194 FPS, for 1% 1 of 120, and a 0.1% of 107. Then turning on FSR, and at Ultra Quality, the game is averaging 251 FPS, for 1% 1 of 144, and a 0.1% of 127. Now with FSR Quality, and it is averaging 287 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 145, and a 0.1% of 128. Onto Balanced, and it is averaging 312 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 141, and a 0.1% of 113. Moving up to Performance, and the card is averaging 349 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 147, and a 0.1% 1 of 125. Moving up to 1440p, and without FSR, it is averaging 128 FPS with a 1% 1 of 103 and a 0.1% of 88. Then on FSR Ultra Quality, it is averaging 173 FPS with a 1% 1 of 129 and a 0.1% of 96. Then at Quality, it is averaging 201 FPS with a 1% 1 of 137 and a 0.1% of 116. Moving on to Balanced, and it is averaging 228 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 139, and a 0.1% of 120. And on Performance, it is averaging 260 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 144, and a 0.1% of 116. And then at 4K, it averages 61 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 53, and a 0.1% of 48. And then enabling FSR, and at Ultra Quality, it is averaging 89 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 77 and a 0.1% of 68. And at quality, it is averaging 109 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 88 and a 0.1% of 81. Then on balanced, it is averaging 125 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 99 and a 0.1% of 87. Then on performance, it is averaging 148 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 116 and a 0.1% 1 of 102. On to New World next, and at 1080p the game is averaging 75 FPS, with a 1% of 32 and a 0.1% of 13. Up to 1440p, and it averages 51 FPS, with a 1% of 14 and a 0.1% of 8. Then at 4K, it is averaging 26 FPS, with a 1% of 21 and a 0.1% of 14. Rainbow Six Siege is next, and at 1080p it is averaging 260 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 199 and a 0.1% of 160. At 4040p, it is averaging 161 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 130 and a 0.1% 1 of 120. Up to 4K, and it is averaging 81 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 64 and a 0.1% 1 of 63. Moving on to Resident Evil Village, and at 1080p, it is averaging 184 FPS, with a 1% 1 of 88 and a 0.1% 1 of 75. 
Turning on FSR, and at ultra quality, it is averaging 209 FPS, with a 1% of 80 and a 0.1% of 68. Up to quality, and it is averaging 223 FPS, with a 1% of 81 and a 0.1% of 67. On balanced, it is averaging 224 FPS, for 1% of 89 and a 0.1% of 71. Performance is the last option and it is averaging 234 FPS for 1% of 102 and a 0.1% of 78. Then at 1440p, it is averaging 119 FPS with a 1% of 81 and a 0.1% of 50. Turning on FSR and at ultra quality, it is averaging 155 FPS with a 1% of 86 and a 0.1% of 67. Down to quality, it is averaging 175 FPS, with a 1% of 88 and a 0.1% of 76. Then at balanced, it is averaging 192 FPS, with a 1% of 95 and a 0.1% of 76. Lastly, on performance, it is averaging 206 FPS, with a 1% of 100 and a 0.1% of 77. And then at 4K, it is now averaging 58 FPS, with a 1% of 35 and a 0.1% of 26. Using ultra quality FSR, it is now averaging 82 FPS for 1% of 58 and a 0.1% of 46. Then on quality FSR, it is averaging 98 FPS with a 1% of 69 and a 0.1% of 49. And then on balanced, it is averaging 112 FPS with a 1% of 77 and a 0.1% of 66. And finally, on performance, it is averaging 131 FPS with a 1% of 80 and a 0.1% of 67. We also tested it with ray tracing on, and at 1080p, it is averaging 56 FPS, with a 1% of 42, and a 0.1% of 27. And at 1440p, it is averaging 49 FPS, with a 1% of 37, and a 0.1% of 31. Up to 4K, and it is averaging 34 FPS, with a 1% of 27, and a 0.1% of 22. We move on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and at 1080p, it is averaging 111 FPS, with a 1% of 90 and a 0.1% of 85. Then at 4040p, it is averaging 73 FPS, with a 1% of 63 and a 0.1% of 59. And at 4K, it is averaging 38 FPS, with a 1% of 34 and a 0.1% of 32. And then turning on ray tracing, the game is averaging 33 FPS, with a 1% of 25 and a 0.1% of 23. Then at 4040p, it is averaging 23 FPS, with a 1% of 17, and a 0.1% of 17 as well. And at 4K, it is averaging 9 FPS, with a 1% of 7, and a 0.1% of 6. And lastly, we move to Warzone, and at 1080p, it is averaging 153 FPS, with a 1% of 114, and a 0.1% of 31. Then at 4040p, it is averaging 103 FPS, with a 1% of 34 and a 0.1% of 19. And at 4K, it is averaging 61 FPS for 1% of 35 and a 0.1% of 11. So there you have it, the RX 6600 benchmark. It is a fairly competent card, definitely aimed at 1080p gaming, but for sure able to reach much higher in some titles. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.